This is a certified hood classic. You're getting ready to watch some King of the Hill. But I do want to let y'all know, man, over on the Patreon, I'm creating a tier where it's only $1 a month, man. And basically, it's going to be all the YouTube videos. I'm going to try to get them uploaded before they hit YouTube, all right, with no skips, no jumps, no slips, no dips. It's going to be all the videos, all the videos that I can get is going to be over there, man. Um, just so that way, if you want to just to check out the authentic reaction with no cuts and no no jumps, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just doing that for you boys, man, for the fam, all right? Two shooks, right? Uh-huh. Two shooks for shooks. They asked me to be the celebrity judge at the Mrs. Heimlich County Beauty Pageant next week. Mrs.? Wait, she do any pretty, women mature though. enough to have a family really go in for that nonsense? That nonsense should change my life. It's what got me <laughs> into television and into hundreds of homes every night as a weather analyst. And you... I ain't mad at that, bro. It, it's, it's, it's a bit about... Well, it's a lot about who you know. But it's also about when you talk about who you know, a lot of people don't talk about putting yourself in the right positions, putting yourself in the right places to figure out and find out and network with these people. You know what I mean? Like, I meet a lot of people going to the gym. I meet a lot of people on my way to do something that is beneficial for my life. Like, I might be going to a tax place or going to business meeting somewhere, whatever. Going to a coffee shop that just didn't work, which I don't do. But it's, it's a nice thought, right? Anyways, but I'm just saying, you might be on your way to do something and end up meeting the right person. It could be a, a woman. Or for a woman, it could be a man. You know what I'm saying? Or for a man, it could be a man. Or a woman, it could be another one. But you know what I mean. Be saying, surprised bro. at the top-notch prizes at the Mrs. Heimlich. Bath beads? Try a year's lease on a brand new Chevy Silverado Ain't LTK no 1500 pickup truck with a super cab and 270 horsepower 5.3 liter Vortec V8. Damn. I want that truck. I bet you do. Hank, do you think I could win the Mrs. Heimlich pageant if I entered? You see, Peggy, that's what you call a loaded question. No matter how I answer, there's a bullet in every chamber designed to blow my brains out. Hank, do you think I can win? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man, Hank. I mean, the answer is yes. Dad, let me just tell you, bro. I'm just telling you. The answer is just yes. It, yeah, I think you can win. Will you help me do it? Yes. That's it. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to do. Well, uh, I think you're beautiful and smart, and you don't need to enter some pageant to prove it. No, that, no, bro, no, no. You fucked it up. You don't think I can win, do you? I didn't oh, say... Oh, shit. I, I just don't think you're the pageant type. Really? Well, let's see. All you have to be is married and over 23. Well, I've got that covered. So, how would we rate me? Uh... I would oh, say no. face. Here we go. A minus. Bo a minus. <laughs> all right, all right, Peggy. All right, don't, don't, don't. Okay, don't flatter yourself now, girl. You look like Betty Boop in this thing, but, but, but fucked up. Her mom, ugly ass boy. I would say face. A minus. Body. B plus. Personality. A plus. That and long brain, ass nose. A plus. <laughs> so, with my smarts and looks and muchos talentos, well, I think I have a huge edge over these bimbos, huh, Hank? I'm going to enter. <laughs> That's a good-looking truck, Hank. She delusioned herself all the way up into enter. Just just say that. Just do it. But, I mean, you got to hype yourself up, though, a little bit. I ain't that mad at Peggy. You got to hype yourself. You got to know that you a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Go on ahead, Peggy. I support you. Yeah, man. I'm talking about them you. damn 207 horsepower, man. I'm skid plate and the Z71 off-road suspension, man. I'm damn, damn, K5, damn, man. Damn, 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 man. Yeah. All Peggy's got to do to get that truck is to win the Mrs. Heimlich County pageant. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> That's yep. right, yep. Peggy's going to win. <laughs> She's every man's fantasy. Uh, okay. I don't know if I like that either, bro. See, look. It's nothing good coming out of this. It's, it's nothing good, okay, bro. Okay, Bill, I'll take over from here. I mean, she's got an A-plus brain and <laughs> an A-minus body, but if she wears one of them push-up hey, brassiers... Bill! She'll uh, have a body that just won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> you she, like that she truck, do just don't need you? To dress different. Would That's you like all. to take it for a test drive? Well, I would not say no. Okay. You know, I like that. 
I like what she's doing. You know, I like what Peggy's doing right now. She's she's like envisioning herself in this truck. That's the prize of winning. She's envisioning herself in that prize to win. Like she's putting herself in the right mind space. I like that, bro. Now here's something a pretty lady you. like yourself will appreciate. A driver's so. side vanity mirror. Mm, uh -oh. I do look good in this truck. So, what's it gonna take for you to buy this truck today? Oh, so. I'm not planning on buying it. I'm planning on winning it in a beauty contest. Test drive's over. <laughs> well, I ain't mad at him. He trying to sell the truck. He trying to get commission, bro, so... But you can't just quit the chest drive. Fuck wrong with you, boy. Get your ugly ass back. Excuse bro. me, uh, y'all. Before we get started, if there is anybody here not connected to the pageant, could you please leave now? Ugly mm, mm, mm. <laughs> ass. Damn. You gotta go. Um, oh, but why I'd is like he there? To welcome you all to the Mrs. Heimlich County Beauty Pageant. In a couple of minutes, you'll get the chance to meet your fellow contestants. But before. Uh, Bill, real quick, Bill built like Homer Simpson, low key. Yeah, I think the Bill built like Homer Simpson. Before weird you do, ass. the reigning Mrs. Heimlich, Kathy Shears, would like to say a few words. Okay, 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 okay. What a long, strange, beautiful trip it's been. And next week, I will add the word sad to that list because I will be handing over this crown to the new Mrs. Heimlich County. Okay. Peggy I get Hill. it. Okay, I like that, Peggy. Well, I hello. like that. I'm Peggy Hill. Oh, hi. I'm Helen Pell. So, what does Peggy Hill do when she's not competing in a beauty pageant? Well, I'm a substitute teacher at Tom Landry Middle School. Oh. Really? I teach sciences full-time over at the high school. Nice. What do you teach? Espanol. I had my second honeymoon in Spain. Have you ever gone? No, but it's because I choose not to. Freaky. You should go. You'll love it. I practically lived there for a couple of months after I graduated from college. Nice. That's where I met my husband, the engineer. The kind that drives a train? Oh, I'm no. gonna have to look out for you. You're very congenial. Okay, that's dope. Oh, really? Me you know that friends. there are three other contestants who teach as well. Yes, yes, I know. I met them already. And I suppose you're what, a biochemist or something? Oh, no, no, no. I I'm a stay-at-home mother. But I have seven kids, so that's a full-time job in and of itself. Do you have any children? Eight. Stop lying. All right, don't, don't get in here and start lying, Peggy. Do not get in here and start lying. Come on, be yourself. Like, come on, bro. I, I get it. You you might not have achieved a lot. And you don't look like much. You know, and uh whew, um You only had one one child, Bobby, and that boy ain't right. Uh damn. Sure is something. Did almost cheat on Hank. Whoo, you know what? You are alive. You are alive, and that is the biggest thing. They can never take that away from you. Well, they could. Whoo! You know what? You're entering the contest. That's what no, we're going for. Have one. Yeah, you eat that well, gum with right the rap now on I'm it. majoring in philosophy Damn. and classical music. Oh, how nice for you. Well, that'll get you a job in a factory when you get out of college. Oh. <laughs> That's what my mom says, too. Oh. <laughs> you do know you have to be 23 years or older to be in this pageant. I am 23. Do you have any children? No, I'm concentrating oh. on my... Oh, well, I have one. Anyway, nice meeting you. Good luck in the pageant. Don't, don't be weird, bro. Like, just be your best. Be you. <laughs> and you never know. They could be lying, too. Like, don't be weird. See, look at you. You're not even having fun. Excitement, Peggy. Everyone's so nice. Mrs. Hanley County let me try on her crown and sash. Did you know she could play the lap steel guitar? And she only has 9% body fat, and it's all in her breasts. Damn. Big ass tits. Woo wee. Mm. But why give them a truck, though? Like, out of everything, why a truck? <laughs> why not a convertible? Little Bobby Hill, you rascal, you. Mm. That's <laughs> when you used to put your food everywhere but in your mouth. Time. Who's that kissing Dad? Well, that's me, honey. Really? You were beautiful. Were? Oh, Bobby, I still am. Okay. <laughs> Bobby, don't you see? When you look at me now, you can't see somebody who's beautiful. You just see a mother. 
I don't know. I think Connie's mom is beautiful. And Mrs. <laughs> Grandma. All right, all right. Hey, there's me standing. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's your, that's your son, though. And plus, he see you every day. But you know, whatever. You know, so it might be just a little bit of that in there. So I like, I wouldn't trip off of it. You know, Peggy, don't trip off that. Next shit. Next to the world's largest road runner. Are you still having those nightmares where he pecks out your eyes? I forgot about those. Good. She is so fucking petty, bro. Petty ass old bitch. Stop doing why does she do shit like that though? I hate when she mm. like that's your son, bro. <sighs> mad ass, <sighs> mad ass. Peggy, oh. are you alright? I I can't sleep. Boy, Cagney and Lacey certainly have aged horribly. That would have pissed me off. <laughs> like well, we laying there, we trying to go to sleep. She gonna turn on that fat ass TV, loud as shit, gunshots and shit, and it's bright as hell, bro. I'm like, man, if you don't turn that shit off and just tell me what what's wrong, bro, just talk to me, man. Hank, do you think I'll turn into one of those women you see at the Megalomart who wears white stretch pants and doesn't tuck in her shirt anymore? Yeah. Not for many, many years. Oh, hmm. so you thought about this. Oh, <sighs> shut up. <laughs> I thought he stopped having those nightmares. Yeah, he did. Come on oh, in, ladies. Ass. Take a load off. Thanks. She's a weirdo. Well, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting this little filly before. Well, yes, yes, you have. No, he's a freak. Don't let any nigga that look like that burnt looking ass boy. He a freak. Boy, that boy look like uh, uh, if Humpty Dumpty was a person, boy, you look freaky. I don't believe I had the pleasure of meeting this little teat. Mm -hmm. uh, Your daughter? No, she's my niece, Luann. Oh, well, there you go, darling. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Now, what can old Buck Strickland <laughs> do for you? You said you had some said, kind of yeah. business proposition, did you? Mr. Strickland, a beauty pageant can be a good promotional opportunity for both the beauty contestant and for the business who sponsors the contestant. Uh, I say no more, I'll do it. How much do you need? Well, there's the, the new you tennis think outfit. It's for makeup. New dress, hair, uh, we figured around two thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Damn. Debbie, drop me up a company check for two thousand dollars. Hey, Oh, thank you, Mr. Hey, Strickland. Back. I guarantee you that I will win that Mrs. Heimlich pageant. I will not let you down as my sponsor. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. What, Mrs. What the hell is she doing here? She is my stylist, and like yourself, a big part of Team Peggy Hill. Debbie. Did you finish writing up that check? Yes, Buck. Oh, sh. Oh. Yo, <laughs> I mean, he can always just cancel it, but I'm I'm glad he didn't, bro. I think this is copyrighted, so we can't play that. All right, matter of fact, I can play it for everybody that's... that's oh, terrific, that girls. Mrs. Hill, that was awful. We're going to go again, <laughs> and this time I want Mrs. Hill to sit this one out and watch me. Damn. Raymond, hold my cane. Damn. That's all. Why, bad, Nancy, bro. in the words of Billy Crystal, you look wonderful. Thanks, Shug. Oh, by the way, I was so excited to hear that you entered the pageant. Really? Oh, thank you. She didn't well, maybe her this done. year you and I can shake things up a little bit at the missus. Shake things up how? Well, you know, every year they pick the same type of woman to win. Skinny, big hair, bleach blonde. You mean women like me? Oh, your hair is not bleached, <laughs> is it? Yeah. What type of woman do you think should win the pageant, Peggy? Well, I'm not a judge, but... Well, a married woman, of course. Not just a wife, but a partner. Definitely a mother. Someone who is distinguished... You. I just say, just say, I want to win. That's all you have to say, bro. By her brain size, not her bra size. Women like you. Well, you said it, I didn't. But, yes. I think women like you shouldn't be in a pageant if you're not prepared to be judged by women like me. Oh, well... We could have shook things up, you and me. I mean, but hmm. you 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 came at her first, though. You came at her first. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Frizzle, go sit your ugly ass down. <laughs> oh, don't you look ugly. smart. Luann, I think I want to put some highlights in my hair. Oh. You don't think that's a good idea? No, it's a good idea. It's just that highlights was a two-part class, and I missed both parts. Oh, God. oh no. 
<laughs> no, girl, you look like the, the shit off the uh, 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 Adams family, the, the mother. Hey, shit. Bozo! Where your clown car, Piggy here? Oh, damn. Hey, you look like the Ronald McDonald, you Bozo Piggy here. <laughs> what? She, she's so stuck up. Not even say hello. She ignored your stupid ass, boy. You think your missus will like it? Yes, sir. Well, I hope so. This is the most I've spent on a woman without getting anything in return, if you know what I mean. Sure. Uh, don't worry about it, Buck. You've backed a winner. She well, at least... smiled, at least. I don't know. You, she you, is At least smiling. you can lie. Well, if I order by 8 o'clock tonight, I can have my stretch pants by tomorrow at noon. I could be in them by 1. Uh, Peggy, why don't you just wait a week and we can drive over to the Megalomart and get them in your new truck, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. My new truck. <laughs> Stop worrying. Oh, You've no. got those fancy stripes in your hair. Plus, your best friend Nancy's a judge. Well, Nancy and I are not talking right now. Oh. Because well, of you, by the we way. We just won't let her ride in our new truck, will we? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Y'all fucking up, bro. She shouldn't have did that. She shouldn't. Okay. Have, she should have just got some advice from Nancy, bro. Like, don't try to come over to somebody and shit on them. Like, oh yeah, people like you shouldn't win. It's like, well, why should you win? Nancy put a lot of time, a lot of effort into that. She, she the one that got her hip on the whole thing. Like, bro, you can't just do that to people, bro. Uh, hey, Dale. Respect. It's respect. Peggy baked some extra brownies, and we thought, you know who might enjoy these? The Gribbles. So here you go. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm done using my ratchet set if you want to borrow it. You mean if I want to keep it? Borrow it, oh. Dale. <laughs> Just a little reminder, Hank, my wife is the judge of your wife's beauty pageant. <laughs> you already keep know. It. Borrow it or I'll step over this hedge and kick your ass. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, Hello. Excuse me, but I think you've made a mistake. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're teasing oh, the wrong no. contestant's hair. It's okay. It happened to me yesterday. Luann, honey, sit down for a second, please. Now, you are an excellent, excellent amateur stylist. But this is a professional beauty pageant. <sighs> no, it's an amateur beauty pageant, Aunt Peggy. No, See, Louis? right. Amateur attitude, amateur performance. That's why I've hired a professional. This wow. is Marcy Shewitt, wow. stylist to three pageant winners. Wow, you fucked up. Because she had your back. I mean, well, she, you needed a lot of help, and she did fuck your highlights up. Well, whew, well, maybe she could help with styling your dress or something. Oh, I don't know. My God. You're you firing me as your stylist. No. Pretty much. You will still be a very important part of Team Peggy Hill, <sighs> but in a much, much smaller capacity. <sighs> Damn. See? That's the amateur attitude I was talking about earlier. All right, all right. Hmm. Let me get a look at you. Okay, now turn around. Hmm. Ain't no cakes. She ain't got no cake. Can you save this? <sighs> This will be my greatest challenge yet. You don't want to hear somebody say that to you. And the winner like, hmm, of damn. the Mrs. Heimlich County Beauty Pageant, Peggy Hill. Nah, I don't like it, though. Like, I don't really like it. I don't really like it at all. Like, I don't know, man. It's just like, Peggy, I think if she just removed that fucking bun. Like, Marge Simpson, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, when Marge dropped that stupid-ass hair... That weird ass afro and she got going you know, straight up. Mars is beautiful. Like that damn beautiful her since she perm her shit. That's badass bitch. <laughs> Baddie. I think that's all Peggy really needed to do is just drop her hair, get some different, and change up her clothes, get something tighter, something nice. <gasps> huh? So what do you think? <laughs> Whoa, God. You look like you could star in a headache commercial. Ladybird, Ladybird, Ladybird. Like stop barking! It's me, it's Peggy. Mike, you haven't said anything. Uh, you look. Uh, Bobby, will you please take Ladybird outside? Right. That's annoying the hell out of me. Uh, gee, look at you. Yeah, 
I'd, uh, I'd kiss you, but it'd feel like I was cheating on you with another woman if I did. <laughs> well, now's your chance to cheat on me, Hank. I promise I won't tell Peggy. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. With the way you be acting, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. As soon as you did it, I, I didn't know. I knew it, Hank. I knew you would cheat. I knew you were going to cheat on me. Like, shut up. Shut your ugly ass up. Huh. There. <laughs> Boy, look at me. I'm having an affair. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's all you need to see. Oh, shit, boy. He gonna try to fall for his wife, bro. That's crazy. <sighs> Dale, you tripping, You were so bro. right about the eyeliner. Oh, God, what was I thinking? Dang, I wish we had a picture of you looking Mutton this good for the on your shit. Spilt milk, spilt milk. Yeah. She got that Pikachu. <laughs> did you get the brownies I baked for you as a friend, Nancy? Yes, I did, Mrs. Hill. Shall we proceed? <laughs> We're running a little behind schedule. Oh, no, that's right. It says here in your application that you speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Si, uh. absolutamente. And la escuela intermedia de Tom Landry, so I maestra substituta de espanol. I don't like your face, ma'am. The fuck? You look like, I, I don't know, bro. Somebody off a hell of a boss or some shit. Fat team Peggy Hill, la revolución digital definitivamente ha cambiado nuestras vidas. Como esposa y una madre, ¿cómo planea viajar al expreso de información entre el próximo milenio? The fuck did you just say, ugly old man? I want to learn Spanish. Sí. Nah, you messed sí, it up. Sí, amigo. You messed it up. Stop lying, bro. Just don't lie. What you finna do? I have a feeling she finna do some stupid shit. Luann, I just spent two hours picking one of Peggy's shoes out of that disposal. Because, you know, she fired me. Now, I Stinky heard you were ass. still an important part of Team Peggy Hill. <sighs> I know you're feeling a little... Baby pig looking at little little <laughs> miffed. But miffed. you have to understand, your aunt has always had a lot of confidence about her looks, which is good. But now she's got herself in kind of a bind. She's either got to admit to herself she can't win the truck and quit, or stay in the pageant and, well, probably lose. Either way, it's going to hurt. Well, I she guess could win. I should feel bad for her. But I don't. <sighs> <laughs> hey, well, she was telling the truth. Well, this won't work. Can't be too I bad cannot go truth. out there like this. Is there something wrong? Yes. All of a sudden, my butt looks like it's dragging on the floor. Will you fix it? Fix it! Okay, ma'am, you can't fix a, a, a saggy ass. You can't fix a saggy ass. It's, it's, it's a saggy. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. Sag ass. Hmm. You duct tape, Mrs. Hill. I used it all duct on my tape. feet. Mr. Strickland! Yeah. We need duct tape. Silver or gray? Silver. All purpose or premium grade. No, oh, what the hell? I'm already in this for two grand. What's another 90 cents? Mm. Uh, right. Tighter? Uh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Ladies, to the stage. Come on now, let's go, y'all. Well, where's my half jacket? I need my half She's jacket. Tripping. That's what makes this an ensemble. Calm the down, half jacket. Man. Come on, girls. Hurry. Watch your step. Mm. <clears throat> Don't tell me she gonna get hit by a car, y'all. No! Well, a booty drop. This wasn't premium, <laughs> you cheap bastard. By any chance, do you have any spare tape? My ass has come loose. I'm sure it's just the humidity. Peggy, I I've got to go inside. I also think I should tell you that you forgot to put on your shoes. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. This is not good. Man, they petty as hell. Ain't nobody said nothing about her damn feet. Come on, bro. They saw her coming out, bro. Somebody had to see her coming out. Oh, my gosh, bro. That's why you need people, good people around. Well, I figured truck. since you were only doing this for the truck, I'd save you the trouble. Honey, you bought us a new truck? No, I painted my old one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's Smart beautiful. Man. Yeah, but she was before. Oh, no, that's right. 
I know that's right, bro. Are those new shoes? Uh, cause <laughs> I like them. <laughs> See, you got something that people can't judge, bro. That money can't buy, bro. You got a good man. You just, it just, you got a good man that loves you, Peggy. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying? And for men, bro, you get a good woman that's going to tell you what you need, that's going to support you and help you, maybe be a little crazy sometimes, but at the end of the day, ultimately, it's there for you. You got a good woman. That's priceless, bro. Having somebody, I don't care what nobody say. A lot of people be like, money over hoes. Uh, females be niggas ain't shit. All that type of stuff, all that shit. That's all well and good if you're hurt, if you feel something down inside. But when you when you actually get in a healthy relationship with people that love you, with somebody that loves you, somebody that cares about you, somebody that wants to see you succeed, bro, I'm telling you, it's the best feeling in the world. As long as you don't let it go to your head, it's the best feeling in the world. And now she can see that, y'all. That's what it's about. Look at them. They ain't got that. Well, they might. I don't know.